think that might be one of PB's missing outfits. Magic Man must have thrown it in the water. Hey, PB. Marceline said something's up. Yes, something is definitely up. I sent all of my new outfits off to the dry cleaning kingdom, and they were supposed to come back today. But Magic Man thought it would be fun to intercept my delivery and scatter my clothes all over Oo. That explains it. I was wondering why you were dressing so retro here lately. Oh, man. I was hoping I wouldn't have to deal with Magic Man again for a while. You don't. He lost interest and went away. And I found most of my stuff. I'm only missing three outfits now. Marceline won't help me because she thinks I'm silly to worry about stuff like this. She does have a point. Yeah, but if it's important to you, it's important to us. Jake and me will keep an eye out and find your missing outfits, PB. Thanks, Finn. You're the best. It's too far, man. You're gonna have to find some other way to fish it out. Glad we've still got a little of that flame shield spell left over from last time we were in the Fire Kingdom. It's almost back up to normal temperature again. Yeah, it's pretty hot. We shouldn't waste any time. Um, hi, Flame Princess. Hey, Finn. What's up? You sound a little down. What's wrong? It's nothing. What did you want to talk about? Well, it's kind of a long story. See, I had this favorite record and BMO. We, we want you to play keyboard in our band. Will you do it? Really? Me? Well, I did take lessons as a little girl, but I haven't played in a really long time. I doubt I'd be any good. I can't even inspire the people of the Fire Kingdom to follow my leadership. And that's my job. No way! I bet you'd be awesome! I don't think so, Finn. Playing keyboards was never anything but a hobby. Sorry, I just know I'd wreck your band like I'm wrecking the Fire Kingdom. You just got confidence issues, that's all. I bet your people appreciate you way more than you think. You're not a total tyrant like your dad was. No offense. None taken. My dad is a complete donkus when it comes to ruling. But I don't know... What if Jake and me prove that your people have confidence in you? Would you join the band then? I guess so, but how would you prove that? It'll be easy. What's not to love about you? Um, I mean, your leadership and all. You just wait here. We'll get back to you. What do you have in mind, Finn? Thank you notes always feel good. Let's go around and get people to write notes to Flame Princess to say how much they appreciate her. That'll boost your confidence big time. Sounds like a plan. Hey, a happy little snail. It's a picture of Flame Princess. Man, she's so beautiful. It's a painting of Flame Princess. Sometimes royal families have their pictures painted to inspire their subjects. They're trying to steal our inspiring portrait of Flame Princess! Get them!
think our work here is done. This is about all the treasure we can carry. It's a picture of Flame Princess. Man, she's so beautiful. Jeez, there was no need for all the fighting. I was just gonna borrow it for a while. Check it out! One of PB's missing outfits was nailed to the wall behind the painting. Good eye, Finn. PB will be happy to get that back, I bet. You two again! I heard you came back! You're not gonna leave this kitchen until you clean up that mess you made before when you blew up my firebone soup! I wanna disagree, but he's right. It's our mess. We should clean it up. Wow! We really did make a mess when we blew up that pot of soup. Guess it's okay for us to use this mop. That's right! Put your back into it! This stuff mops up surprisingly well. Yeah, but it's burning the mop down to a stick. All right, I'm satisfied. Thanks for your cooperation. Flame burn out. Hey, a hot coal! No wonder that soup mess was still so hot. Ow! Oh yeah, right, hot coal. You're gonna have to find a way to distract the firewolf before you take that hot coal. Here, boy! Want the stick? Go get it! <laughs> Firewolves sure like chasing stuff. And they're not too bright. I didn't even throw it. Whatevs. He'll be busy for a while trying to find it. Youch! That's one hot lump of coal. Hey, Flambo! You like having Flame Princess in charge, right? Sure! Things is way better here with her running a joint. So, how about writing a note to thank her for being an awesome ruler? It'd really help to cheer her up and boost her confidence. Sure, uh, but I need something from you first. <sighs> what do you need? I used up all my coal when we went through that cool down last time you were here. I want to have some more on hand in case things get cold again sometime. Give me some hot coals and I'll write that note for you. Okay, we'll see what we can find. That's what I'm talking about! That much hot coal will keep me warm through anything but a total deep, deep freeze. Here's my thank you note. Hope it helps. Algebraic! Yeah! Flambo sure does like hot coals. Makes sense, I guess. I already gave you a note for the princess. Maybe you should talk to somebody else. Let's talk to Cinnamon Bun and see if he'll write a thank you note for Flame Princess. Hey Cinnamon Bun, we need your help. Hey Finn, sure I'll help you. You've helped me and Flame Princess a lot. Flame Princess is feeling a little down, and we're trying to get people to write thank you notes to tell her what a great leader she is. You know, to boost her confidence. That's a great idea! She has been kind of down, and that makes me sad. But I don't know if I can do that. I can only write when I have inspiration. Otherwise, my words don't come out too good. Inspiration, huh? Hmm, well, we'll see what we can find to get those creative juices flowing. Hey, Cinnamon Bun, how's this for inspiration? <gasps> Flame Princess! Yes, she inspires me to be better. Hang on. All done. Here's my note. Gotta hand it to him. CB's a fast writer when he's inspired. Thanks, Cinnamon Bun. Now we have to talk to some more people in the kingdom. I don't think two thank you notes will be enough to boost Flame Princess's confidence. Oh, that reminds me. I have this stack of thank you notes that I've been meaning to give to the princess. You mean people have already been writing her thank you notes? Oh yeah, for months and months. The people like her are way better than her mean old father. I just keep forgetting to give them to her. Would have been nice to know that before. Never mind. Thanks, Cinnamon Bun. You've been a real help. No problem, Finn. See you later! Yeah! Nice! Hey, Flame Princess, check these out! 
Thank you notes. Hundreds of them from people all over the Fire Kingdom. See? You don't have to worry. People think you're an awesome leader. Wow. I guess so. So how about it? Want to come and play keyboard in our band? Please? Well, I guess if I can do such a good job ruling the Fire Kingdom, playing the keyboard again after all these years should be a snap. Sure. I'll do it. Awesome. We're meeting at the treehouse in a little while. We'll see you there. Where are you going now? To the forest. We have a singer to recruit. Oh man, looks like Lumpy Space Princess is living in the woods again. She's not gonna be happy with us. It's gonna be tough to talk LSP into singing for our band. What with us getting her kicked out of the Ice Kingdom and all. Hey LSP, how's it going? How's it going? How do you think it's going? Thanks to you, instead of running my own kingdom with my prince at my side, I'm back living in the Lumpin Woods. Prince? What prince? None of your business, Jake. Now, why are you guys bugging me? Um, well, we, um... See, we're putting together a band to record my favorite record, and we're hoping maybe you'd help us out and be our singer? Your singer? You have some serious lumps asking me to help you after all you did to me? No way! Yeah, well, we're sorry about that. But you see, um, it's... Your fans! It, it, it's your fans, LSB! They are demanding a performance! They are? Mm-hmm. I mean, they are! They totally are! Oh my glob, I have fans? What am I saying? Of course I have fans! I probably have, like, a whole lumpen fan club. Absolutely you do! She does? Mm-hmm! Um, yeah, you totally do. Okay, I can't let my fans down. You get them all together, and I'll make the big announcement of my comeback tour. But I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing it for them. You love big, got me? Yeah, totally. Okay, you should gather all of my fans in the tree stump clearing in a little while when everyone is ready. I'll make my big announcement then. Oh my god, this is so exciting! See? She's totally on board. Easy peasy. Yeah, except for the part where LSP doesn't actually have a fan club. Guess we'll just have to convince a couple of people to pretend to be fans. I'm sure we can handle that. The fans were a lot worse today. I can't untie the rope. The knots are too tight. Nah, I don't think so. Nice! Bucket and some rope. I'm sure nobody was using that well anyway. That looks like one of Princess Bubblegum's missing outfits. I got it! That was easy. Dirt. Dig with my hands? No way! That's what shovels or gardening spades are for. That's not working. Tree Stump, how's it going? You again. You already ripped the flower off my head and turned me into a cannibal by making me eat apple pie. What now? I mean, seriously, bro. There's pretty much no other horrible thing you can do to me at this point. Um, we just want you to pretend to be a fan of Lumpy Space Princess's singing. What? Man, I was wrong. If you heard LSP sing, that's like a horrifying prospect. But... Seriously. You got any more apple pie? Because I'd rather be a cannibal! No, you don't have to listen to her sing. You just have to pretend you're a fan and you want to hear her sing. Yeah, the singing will happen somewhere else, we promise. Hmm, that's okay, I guess. But there's still all the nasty stuff you did to me. 
Especially the flower. I love that flower and you ripped it right off. I mean, those things don't grow on trees, man. Well, I guess they do, but you know what I mean. What about if we made it up to you somehow? Did something nice for you? Then would you help us? I guess so. But it would have to be really nice. Not make me throw up. Deal. We'll figure something out. And we'll do it quick. LSP is going to be here any minute. Seriously? You set this up before you even asked me? I gotta tell you, bro. You're not off to a good start on the whole doing something nice thing. I'm gonna boo her so bad if you screw up. Like, seriously bad. You won't believe it. No, no. No need for that. We'll do something really nice for you, promise. Now you just stay here. We'll be back soon. I'll be rooted to this spot. Ha ha ha. Get it? Because I'm a... Yeah, never mind. Just go. Well, hello, boys. Nice to see you again. Hi, Tree Trunks. Sorry to bother you, but we need your help. Oh, it's never bother, Finn. You boys are always there for me, so I'm always here for you. What can I do for you? Do you think we could borrow your gardening spade for a little while? Why, that would be just fine. I just planted some brand new flower seedlings this morning. But I'm done gardening now. Would it be okay if we took one of your flower seedlings? I suppose that would be fine. Um, just make sure you plant it in a pot or something with a good handful of dirt, and it should grow up nice and pretty for you. So, tree trunks, you know Lumpy Space Princess? Oh, yeah, I don't really much care for her. Truth be told, she really can run off at the mouth something fierce and always being so mean and nasty to people. Yeah, that's her all right. See, we need LSP to be the singer in this band we're putting together to re-record my favorite record. We kind of told her she had a fan club, only she doesn't, so we need people to pretend to be your fans. Well... You boys are always doing stuff for me when I need help. I guess the least I can do is pretend to like Lucky Spice Princess singing for a little bit. I mean, how bad could it be anyway? Best not to dwell on that. Cool. Thanks for helping us out, Tree Trunks. We'll see you when we have the rest of the fake fan club together. We'll meet you at the tree stump clearing later. All right, boys, see you later. Sure was nice of tree trunks to let you borrow her gardening spade. You're gonna have to plant that seedling in something so it doesn't die off. Good digging! That's some nice dirt you got there, dude. Actually, I don't know why you weren't carrying the dirt in the bucket the whole time. Might not be a real flower pot, but I'm sure the seedling will grow to a big, beautiful flower in there. Nice fishing pole, dude! There you go, Tree Stump. What do you think? Oh, yay! It's a... Oh, wait. That's actually pretty nice. Wow, thanks. So, are we good? Will you pretend to be a groupie? Why not? I got a pretty flower on my head again. It's all good. Great, because here they come. Ben. Ben? Lumpin' introduced me. Right. Ahem. <clears throat> Ladies and, um... Elephants and tree stumps, here to announce her comeback tour, I give you Lumpy Space Princess! Yay, Lucky Spice Princess, woo! Yeah, woo! All right. 
Oh my glob! Thank you! Thank you everybody so much! Do you think she notices she only has two fans? Shh. Well, like he said, spoiler alert, by the way, Ben. I'm announcing my comeback tour! I'll be doing a private recording session today, but I'll have my tour dates and my new album release really, really soon. Yay! Whoa. And, what the heck, since you're my most loyal fans, you all get a copy of my album! Or a discounted price autograph extra. Yay! Whoa. Sorry to cut this short, but I gotta run off to my recording session. You guys are great! Bye! Yay! Whoa! Phew. Wow! I can't believe that actually worked! Well, me and Jacob gotta run. We have a record to make. Thanks a lot, ladies! Bye, everybody! Yeah! Bye, everybody! Of course. You snagged it, dude! PB's gonna be happy to get that back even if it is covered in nasty cave water. Thank you for finding all my missing outfits, Finn. After I have everything re-cleaned, I can finally change out of this old dress. Sorry to put you guys through all that trouble. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And what we gotta do now is make a record. Yeah, boy! Is everything ready? All the equipment is set, and everybody's on the way to the treehouse. We're good to go. Then I guess it's recording time! Okay, Finn. You ready for this? Totally! Let's do it! Hey, everybody! Everybody! Hey, quiet! Hey! Quiet! Thank you. All right, everybody, we're ready to start. Reel to reel on. Reel to reel on. Turntable to maximum spin. Roger that. Band ready. Keyboards ready. Ready on the skins. Oh, I'm so flippin' ready. What about lemon grab? I got this. Hey, lemon grab. Lemon hope is, um, hiding in the microphone. He's gonna jump out as soon as the music starts. Better be ready. I will strike him down with my sound sword as soon as the first notes of the horrid music are played! He's ready. Okay, everybody. This is it. Remember, put all of your emotions into this. We gotta fix Finn's favorite record. This one's going out to Finn and Jake Investigations. We go in three, two, one, and play! That's a wrap. We got what we need. We were loving awesome! <laughs> oh, that was totally hot. We were rocking out, man! Bimo was helping. Yay, Bimo! Lemon Hope is not here! Mm, unacceptable! What are they talking about? That was awful! Yeah, that was nothing like my record. It was a disaster! No way, it was exactly right. You guys forget, we're using magical recording equipment. Just listen. Hey, Bimo, play that record. Yay, finally. Dance party! Hmm, told ya. Yeah! All right! Boy, did we have some adventures. And it took a lot longer than it usually takes. But all in all, I'd say the first cases of Finn and Jake investigations were a success. You said it, man. We should do this again sometime. But not right now. There's only one thing I want to do right now. What's that, buddy? Dance, boy! I'm a tough baby that can dance like a man. I can shake him up, Fanny, I can shake him up again. I'm a tough tootin' baby, I can punch him. <laughs> oh, wasn't that a lot of fun? We should play both the Grables more often instead of just watching them. Grable Babel Grapes. Playing those Grables was as exciting as when Finn and Jake fought the giant mushroom with Billy's girlfriend, Canyon. I hope you were paying attention. <laughs>
because it's time to guess the theme. I know the playable Grables are a lot longer, Mabel, than our normal stories, so we'll take a few Grables to talk through your answer. What was the theme for our five playable Grables? Good job! You got that on the first try. That's right. The theme of the playable Grables was the five most powerful emotions: fear, envy, anger, sadness, and love. The silly wizard guy was afraid he'd spend his whole life in the candy prison. The blue guy got to stay with Finn and Jake again. But he was envious that Finn and Jake had such a nice place to live. Lemon Grab said that the pranks that Finn and Jake played on him this time made him angry, worse than when he was ruling the Candy Kingdom and when Finn made his pudding all fizzyable at the lemon dinner. The sword that Cinnamon Bun bought was supposed to make him happy, but it caused him nothing but grief after he bought it. And Finn had to find a way to fix the record his parents used to play for him because he loved it. Good job. That's it for this time. But maybe we'll play Mabel together again soon. Until then, though, I'll see you creepy glimmers on Trio to flip in the diamond. Ha ha.